What's up guys, so I'm here in Las Vegas for CES 2016 and I've been walking around the show floors checking out all the new products and one of the new products I'm really excited about is actually a new camera by Nikon um, and it's not a DSLR, it's an action camera and it's not just an action camera, it's a 360 degree action camera. This is the first 360 degree camera that Nikon has ever made. It's actually one of the first that any major manufacturer has made. There have been startups that have been coming out with 360 degree cameras, but, but the fact that Nikon, such a huge name in the um, photography and videography industry is coming out with a 360 degree action camera is kind of amazing and I think awesome. So if you're not familiar with the concept of 360 degree cameras, basically what it does is it shoots a spherical video and it sees everything around the camera and when you're watching that video on YouTube or Facebook or some other platform that supports 360 degree videos, you can drag that video to see whatever angle you want to see. Or if you're using a virtual reality device like Google Cardboard or something else, you can actually just turn your head and see everything that the camera sees. The reason I get excited about hearing about these 360 degree cameras is because there's been this big push into VR in the last couple of years. Uh, there's PlayStation VR, form, formerly Project Morpheus. There's the Oculus, which is getting its new consumer version of the Rift this year. There are all these new great VR products. Everyone's talking about VR. But that's only one side of the equation. You still need to be able to make VR content. It's like having a 4K TV, but no 4K capable cameras. You need to be able to make that kind of content. And 360 degree cameras are one way of making VR capable content. I think the fact that Nikon is jumping into this market and saying, look, we're going to be a part of this next wave of devices, I think is awesome. And I, I wanna see Sony get involved. I wanna see Canon and GoPro put out models. And I cannot wait to check out this Nikon camera. It's called the Key Mission 360. Right now, there aren't very many detailed specifications and there's no price estimate. They're supposed to release this sometime this spring. Uh, they've said that it's waterproof up to 100 meters, which is awesome. Um, and they've also said that it's 4K capable. And every time um, I tell somebody that, their reaction is, oh my God, wow, how much does it cost? That must be a really expensive camera if it's 4K capable. But here's the thing, um, 4K is not the same with 360 degree cameras as it is with something like a DSLR. A 4K capable DSLR is, is probably very high end. But with 360 degree cameras, if, you're, if the footage you're shooting is 4K, it's still gonna be pretty low quality. And the reason being is that that 4K is spread out over the entire spherical view of, of those two cameras um, that are embedded in the action camera. And so at any one time, you're only gonna be looking at a small selection of that total sphere. And therefore, you're only gonna be looking at a very small selection of that 4K. So what you're gonna be looking at at any given time is gonna be much less than 4K. It's actually probably gonna be less than 1080 or 720p as well. The quality is not gonna be great because this is gonna be one of the first generations of these products. And I think we need to accept that. Just when you hear 4K, don't expect it to be like crystal clear sharp because it, it just isn't. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you excited for these new 360 degree cameras? You know, I sure am. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos, please consider subscribing and I'll keep you up to date with all sorts of new fun stuff. Also, please stay tuned for the rest of my continuing coverage of CES 2016. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.